Hi, this is John Kanellopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece, a clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City, New York. It's a pleasure to present to you our data from comparing uh, sine fluke tomography to scanning slit uh, tomography, scanning slit being the one that was uh, clinically applied uh, as a predecessor at the beginning of the 90s. And of course, there's a lot of literature in looking at the um, accuracy and repeatability of this exam. Uh, sine fluke is now the state of the art uh, globally. It started in the mid 2000s, uh, and there are several comparison studies. Most of them, though, are comparing the two devices in ecclesia and or after refractive surgery. So we decided to share with you uh, the comparison of the two devices as far as uh, their repeatability and accuracy, as well as uh, against each other in healthy uh, eyes without any cornea pathology. And what we found is that uh, the uh, uh, reproducibility is very good in uh, both devices. It is over uh, 0 0.9. Uh, with uh, sine fluke tomography uh, having a superior reproducibility as far as uh, characterometric values such as anterior and posterior keratometry, uh, best fit sphere, and thinnest cornea pachymetry, which is probably one of the most important tools that we use tomography for. And again, this is for healthy uh, eyes without any pathology or any prior uh, surgery. And also uh, at the thinnest point location, which is another crucial thing in um, when we're evaluating corneas for refractive surgery and or for ectasia. The agreement uh, was statistically significant uh, for inter-device differences, and um, it was noted for the values K1, K2, best fit sphere, and anterior chamber depth, another very useful tool in anterior segment surgery and diagnosis. Uh, despite the agreement the uh, differences noted, the two devices are very well correlated, um, over 0.8, uh, in the respective measurements uh, with sine fluke delivering consistently lower values than the scanning slit. And uh, taking that into account, uh, the devices can almost be used interchangeably if uh, one has one in one practice and one in the other. I hope you find this data interesting. It's really a pleasure presenting this to you. And this is John Kenelopoulos signing off. Thanks so much.